is too, too close. Okay, so we're gonna continue the creating variation two, mutation over generations. Basically, the idea is very similar to the first, the first one that we talk about, mutation of clones. But this time, begin by creating a duplicate of the duplicate rather than the original. Now make one meaningful change to this third generation duplicate. Try not to go backwards. That is, don't simply undo the change that you made in the previous generation. Continue this process a number of times, maybe eight or so, each time using the previous variation as the seed for the next one. What you have now is a collection of descendants ideas, each of which is the direct offspring of the previous idea, but which can all be tracked back to the original ancestor. Although you've made only one meaningful change to each idea, all of them have also inherited to the changes from all of the preceding generations, and so may become incredibly remote from the original ancestor. This one is so good. This one is so good. Actually, I'm going to add that to my track now. Yeah, I'm going to do that. But before I go, next week, I just had a glimpse, which you really don't want to miss. This one is, oh my god, so good. It's called Note Transm Transformations. Basically, they finally, finally talk about inversions. Because I was I was curious myself the whole time. It's like why are they not talking about you know um, inversion yet? Like this this is very very helpful things, even though it's very basic in the world of harmony. But I am surprised that a lot of people actually don't know about it. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to talk to you guys about it. I will see you next week. I'm quite awkward saying goodbye, so just get used to it. Bye. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye bye.